Alright, this is a little proof of concept video uh, showing emulation of Disney Infinity's USB power base here uh, using my laptop so I can virtually place whatever figures I want and uh, play as them in the game. Uh, so, a little background. Um, I'm doing this using a device I made a while back. Well, it's actually two devices put together. This is a, a Teensy 2.0 uh, USB device. There's actually two of them here. And they've got some wires soldered between their uh, serial UARTs so that, they, so that they can communicate with each other. And uh, that way information can pass between you know one end to the other. So I've got one end that I'm going to be plugging into the console and the other end I'll be plugging into the laptop. And so data can pass back and forth between them. Uh, so, the console will think it's talking to the real power base, but in fact it'll be talking to this Teensy, which talks to the other Teensy, which talks to my laptop. So my laptop can tell it, you know, whatever I want to tell it. Uh, so, uh, I wrote some code on this laptop to pretend to be the USB power base, and allow me to uh, virtually place whatever figures I want in the form of these little tiny little images image files I put on the laptop, uh, decrypted image files. So, uh, I've got both the Wii and 360 versions of the game running here. So I'm going to start with the Wii version and hook this up and hopefully we'll see it emulated. Ooh. Lost my sensor bar. <laughs> Plugged in back here. Okay. So now I'll fire up the code. Yep, and there it goes. It said it couldn't find the base before, now it's asking for a figure. So I'll just select an image on my laptop here. Jack Sparrow, and I'll just hit a button, and there it goes. Yeah, so, there you go. Okay, so I'll take him off, and we will disconnect this, and this. And we'll switch inputs, switch over to the 360 version. Now the 360 version, uh, well, as you may or may not know, has, uh, well, all 360 peripherals have a security chip in them that prevents uh, simulating uh, USB devices like what I'm doing here. Uh, there's a security handshake that happens when you first plug it in. So what I've done is I've written some code on the laptop to uh, let me plug the uh, power base into the laptop and then let the security handshake pass between the 360 and the real power base through the laptop. So the laptop allows that occurs allows that to occur, but my code can still send whatever virtual figures it wants. Think whatever virtual figure data I want. So I've got the virtual power base plugged in. This is the get my controller back on. Hello. There you go. The 360 version's up. So now I'll plug the USB cable into the laptop. Plug the other end into the console here. And switch this to the 360 version. There we go. Now it says it's missing a figure, so I'll just do the same thing. Just choose that same character. And there it goes. So you can... Oops, wrong controller. So you can jump around and do whatever. So it's 
pretty much it.